Resident Evil was awesome. It was like a dream come true for me. I'm really excited to see it, and um, uh, it was just really cool. I grew up playing the video game, so it was it was just the best. Welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek, and today we are going to talk about some REBH fun, and that is the hashtag that you should follow on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff, because, you know, if you follow that, you'll get to see some cool images. You'll uh, mostly see fans posting stuff trying to win points for their ambassador program, uh, which they're trying to, you know, up their ranks like I am. Uh, you can win up to five points a day, I think, on different social medias uh, by posting something Res Evil related with that hashtag. And if it's linked to your Res Evil portal account, which if you don't have that app, it's free, feel free to download it. If you play any Res Evil games, you link that app to your account and then you'll get points, you know, every time you tweet about Res Evil using the hashtag REBH fun. And if you do that, you can become, you know, you go from bronze to silver to gold status to platinum status. And the higher you get up uh, to, you know, to platinum status is uh, basically a, a better chance you'll get to interact more with Capcom themselves. They do things like that fun beta test they did recently with Reverse, Res Evil Reverse. And, uh, and that was something that I got picked for because I was, you know, a silver rank and that gave me a little bit more of a chance to get picked than someone who's at a bronze rank. So I got very lucky. Um, but I'm trying to get to gold rank because that increases your chances like, you know, even more. And obviously to get to platinum, you're not guaranteed anything, but you got a pretty good shot at getting picked for things like that in the future. So, you know, I want to I wanna just mention that first. That's where all this information comes from. Uh, even the opening that we did, I put a little intro at the front from Robbie Amell. I thought that was really cool uh, because that's what this episode's about. It's following that hashtag and checking out what some of the actors maybe are posting sometimes. Sometimes they just use the hashtag Resident Evil, um, but uh, so you can use that hashtag too. But for me, I like following the REBH uh, fun hashtag because it leads me to fans and other things where people share their collections and their photos of their stuff in their rooms that are dedicated to Resident Evil and things like that. So I love seeing that. I love seeing that part of the fandom and just everyone celebrating Resident Evil, which is awesome. Um, but uh, but yeah, Robbie Amell at the beginning, he does sometimes AMAs on his Instagram account and people will ask him, you know, questions about various things, shows he's working on, all that stuff. And someone asked him about Resident Evil and I just loved his response. He's, he was like, hey, it's awesome. It was a dream come true. I grew up playing the game is what he said. And then, you know, he's like talking about how he loves playing the character and being in the movie. So I'm glad he's playing Chris. I think he's a good pick for Chris. Chris is my favorite Resident Evil character. So I'm very pumped. Uh, but there are other actors and actresses that are in this movie that get in on the fun too. So that's what this episode is going to be about. But definitely follow the REBH hashtag or REBH fun hashtag if you want to see other fans and the cool stuff they're posting, like their fan art and all this other stuff, their collections. It's, it's awesome. Like, really, just be a part of the community. It's great. Even if you don't use it to gain points in your ambassador uh, program, if you don't have that, still, you know, jump in and follow that hashtag. It's a lot of fun. You see a lot of cool things from a lot of cool people. Um, but we do have, like I said, we have some fun posts from the cast of this movie and then even a couple posts from the video game account uh, doing little teases and fun for, you know, the Resident Evil 8 Village game that's coming out in May, which I'm very excited about. And we're also, like, 12 days away from the official uh, 25th anniversary of Resident Evil, which is on March 22nd. I'm super pumped. I hope they do something fun that day, uh, announce something, show a teaser for this movie. Like, I don't know. I hope something, you know, hits us on that day. That would be great. Maybe the Resident Evil 8 demo finally, uh, because they hinted at that in January, that there was one coming. That would be an awesome time to release it too, uh, to get a village demo. So who knows what will happen? I'm very excited though. I can't wait for March 22nd. Hopefully something awesome happens for all of us. Uh, but uh, outside of Robbie, like I said, there's a couple other people that uh, posted stuff on their Instagram and on their different accounts. Uh, one of them was Marina. She posted this creepy video with some scary music. Uh, she is the actress that is going to be playing Lisa Trevor, uh, one of my favorite monsters from Resident Evil, and has a very tragic history and past, which I hope they, you know, at least touch on or, or you know, do some justice to in this movie. But she's a contortion, uh, contortionist, as you see. 
And she's like bending around and moving around and stuff like that. And she's been on like America's Got Talent type shows, you know, showing off her skills before. That's kind of what, you know, she's made her name doing that. She's done other things, commercials. She's a model. And she has a very fun Instagram account. Like actually, if you follow her, she posts really cool stuff of her like, you know, just like con doing contortionist stuff. Like she's bending and folding herself into a car and then like, you know, unravels herself or she's like walking around the car modeling or stuff like that. Like she has a lot of fun on her channel, um, on, our, on her social media. And as you can see with this post she actually posted something scary because before we saw her do like a lisa trevor thing or we thought it was lisa trevor i don't know if it actually is because she's taken a lot of martial arts classes too but she had like her hands binded or bound and then like jumped up a wall and came down and swung her arms and that felt very lisa trevorish because lisa has her hands bound at one point in the game for most of the game actually in resident evil so i thought that was maybe her doing you know, something from resident evil uh, but i didn't know for sure this is, I don't think, is from Resident Evil, but it seems inspired by it. Like, it's very scary and creepy. And so she says, like, yeah, I don't always just model and do regular contortionist stuff. I sometimes do really creepy stuff. So she made that video, and I thought it was fun. So I wanted to share it here and use the hashtag REBHFUN. Uh, but then also we have... Um, you know, the video opened up with Robbie Mel. Recently, we saw Hannah playing the piano. So some of these actors and actresses that are in this movie are, you know, getting involved. Or, you know, they're, they're uh, you know, sharing stuff from time to time that's, that seems very Resident Evil, even if it's not directly Resident Evil related. And I like that. I like that they're having fun. It, it, it's good to follow and easy to follow. And it gets me pumped up for this movie even more. Um, but then we also have, you know, people like uh, Sammy. Sammy, who plays Enrico Marini in the movie. And Sammy, uh, been, you know, he shared a couple images when he was on set. You know, I think he did a video, too, of him in his trailer. Um, and he's just, like, kind of walking around his trailer. But I'm just going to focus on these two images here. Because I, I, I know I, I uh, recorded that video of him walking around his trailer. But I, I guess I never saved it or transferred it to my computer or whatever. So I can't find it. Um, so, uh, so I just have these images now. Because I think he posted those on his Instagram stories. So, I'm, you know, they're gone for good now, at least for me. Um, but he posted this image here, which I really liked of him, you know, with all the trailers and stuff, where I'm guessing where they get the power from and run the power from and when they do outside uh, shoots. And then also probably wardrobe and makeup and stuff like that is here, too. And then he posted this sign uh, outside of uh, Toronto in Ontario, not before entering, wear a mask, raccoon HG Marini, uh, you know, to kind of show that that's his trailer and that people need to knock before they come in and they need to wear a mask before they come in. So yeah, you know, and that's obviously something all these movies are doing. They're requiring that. Uh, I think recently we saw a behind the scenes photo of the Snyder Cut where Zack Snyder was filming Jared Leto and everyone had a mask on. I mean, Jared didn't because he's in the scene of the movie, but everyone like, you know, Zack and the other people on set had masks on. So it's good to be, you know, be safe and stuff. Um, again, the Resident Evil video game account, they shared some stuff with REBH Fun, which is these little letters here. So first we have this one from, I think, Mother Miranda might be her name. She's like one of the villains of the game. So we have that. Uh, we also have this confidential note that is kind of like, well, who whose is this? Who, who made this note? Because they put it on regular paper, but they typed it, which seems really weird. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of curious about what's up with that note. Why wouldn't you just handwrite it on that kind of paper? Um, but... Uh, whatever um and then there's this little journal page uh from one of the uh, books and i guess there's like a little puzzle sneak peek at a puzzle possibly uh with within the game so resident evil village coming out like i said in uh i think may early may and it's coming out right before my birthday and uh, and hopefully on march 22nd we get something you know from the 25th anniversary of resident evil hopefully we get something cool regarding the game and hopefully a teaser for this movie i'm really hoping something because this movie is scheduled for september 3rd and how do we know that? Well, let me mention one other thing before we get into Chad Rook, but it does kind of dovetail us into Chad Rook, which is Jade the Moon, uh, a group that is, I believe, connected to Chad, and uh, I believe the lead singer, uh, she is, I think, married to Chad, and I think they just had their first kid. I think, again, I'm just kind of guessing here because I'm just going off of some of their posts, so I think that's what's happening, uh, but I wrote Jade the Moon, and, I, and they posted a, a picture saying, like, hey, who's a Resident Evil fan? because we talked about them recently that they might do a song that's Resident Evil related or inspired. And I don't know if it's going to actually be in the movie or not, but they're working on a song that's Resident Evil inspired, it seems. So I'm very pumped to hear this song. So I wrote them and I told them, hey, I'm very excited for this. You know, I can't wait for you to release your song. And they were like, oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much and, uh, and everything. And so, by the way, also Chad Rook and everyone, uh, congratulations on the newborn and stuff like that. It's, it's very awesome. I, like I said, I even wrote Chad earlier today and I said, like, dude, I love your posts. Like, they're just 
really awesome. They're fun. Like, he's just a really cool guy. I just really like him. And the stuff he teases at us are so good. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so Jade the Moon, whenever they release that song, we'll definitely talk about it here on the channel when it comes out. And I'll provide a link to where you can buy the song um, if they release it online somewhere. Um, I'll definitely have all that information for you when it releases. Um, but for now, let's jump over to Chad Rook and check out some of the images he's been sharing because he does this sometimes he's a really fun dude and he posted this first image here uh which is uh, everyone on the stars team holding out their different weapons uh, some of them shotguns i think there's like a little submachine gun in there maybe i can't tell um sawed off shotgun it looks like uh so yeah there's some cool weapons there that look pretty accurate to the resident evil game not exact in some of them but uh but some of them do and they're in a hallway and you can see the carpet on the ground Looks like they're on set in the Spencer Mansion. That's what it seems like anyway. But they could also be in the RPD. I have no idea. But uh, but yeah, you can see someone's massive forearm there. <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm curious. Is that is that Barry? Like Barry? Is that you? Um, or is that Robbie Amell? Like just you know I don't know. I, I don't know who everyone here standing here is. But uh, I'm curious to see what this is going to be like in the movie. So I love that he shared that post. Um, and then he shared some other things. Like, I don't know if they're Resident Evil related, but they're just fun. Wardrobe is coming together. I thought that was just a fun image. There was a jacket in there that I was like, oh, that has a patch on it. Maybe it's Resident Evil related, but it, I don't think it is. Um, then we have this image here of him actually as Richard Aiken, it looks like. So this is what his look is going to be for Richard, I think. Uh, so he just says, hello, RE, fa uh, RE fans. Um, name's Rich. Uh, hashtag Resident Evil. So this is Richard Aiken. I'm assuming this is going to be his look for Richard in the film, which is Cool. I mean, he doesn't look exactly like the game character, but he does, um, but I don't care. <laughs> like some of the, they had some liberties with a lot of the cast members in this, and that's fine with me as long as they act like the characters. As long as Richard has a sense of nobility to him because he, and self-sacrifice, because that's Richard's role in the game. He is the guy who jumps out in front of uh, the snake to save Jill or jumps out in front of the shark to save Chris. Like he's that guy. That's his role is he's willing to die for his teammates. And so as long as Chad brings that to the table, he'll, he'll be Richard Aiken to me, man. So I'm excited to see this. Um, but then he also posted a, a picture today of Emmy's diner, which is actually from the video games. And it looks like there's like a menu in there with a picture of a, like an apple pie or cherry pie or something. And he posted that on there. So I'm like, dude, look at that. So maybe we might actually get a scene inside Emmy's diner, which will be awesome. Will it, will it be the scene from Resident Evil 2 where, you know, Leon meets Claire and he's like, get down, you know, and he like shoots over her shoulder to kill the zombie. Or will it be a scene where like everyone's eating breakfast one day before they go into the star's office, before work, before the zombie outbreak happens? Like, I'm curious because they went out of their way to make a little menu picture thing, which is cool. It's a cool prop. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, so I got pumped for that. But then he released this image. Now, this is the one I saw a lot of people saying they were most excited about because they categorized this as an official poster. But I don't know if that's true. Now, Nothing against, you know, what, what Chad shares is a lot of things that he does himself. His He took pictures with his camera or little video clips, and that's what most of the cast has done. I don't think I've seen any of the Resident Evil accounts or the movie account or anyone officially release this image. Um, I could be wrong. I, you know, I haven't uh, checked in the past, like, couple hours, so maybe they're just late on it and they finally posted it. But I just saw this on Chad Rooks, and then I saw, like, other Resident Evil sites and stuff saying, look, we got our first official poster, we got our first official poster, and I'm like... Well, I don't know if we got if this is official, official or not. It does have the Sony logo on it and the Constantin Film uh, logo on it. It says September 3rd. But like I said, I haven't really seen any, any one of those Instagram or Twitter accounts share this image. But like I said, that was a couple hours ago, the last time I checked, so I could be wrong. So if I am, you know, let me know. <laughs> but either way, whether this is fan-made or not, you know, wherever it comes from, it's really cool looking. Like if this shot of the woods here is the Arclay Woods, and this is leading to the Spencer Mansion. That's just the vibe I'm getting. It, I love the red light coming down um, and the kind of the, the blackening around it. And then you have all the names of all the major characters like Jill, Chief Irons, Albert Wesker, Leon, um, Claire, Chris, you know, everyone, Richard, Ada, Brad, and William Birkin. So those are our main cast members. And But we also know that Enrico's in this and we have a couple other members that we've seen in the, um, you know, on their Instagram and uh, in the IMDb promoting this. So. I'm curious. I want to know what you guys think. Like, I think this is a really cool image. It sets a tone and sets a mood, but I don't know if that's official or not. Uh, but either way, it's still a cool image. Uh, it doesn't matter to me if it's official or not. It's badass looking. And I love the use of red in it. Uh, this reminds me of one of those uh, screens where you die 
and then red splatters on screen and then it like pulls in and it just spells you died and everything like you get tunnel vision like the black comes in and it just you know the whole screen goes black and the blood forms into you're dead um so yeah it kind of a little bit reminds me of that like oh crap i'm running through the woods and one of the zombie dogs got me and all that red's gonna form into the middle and say i'm dead uh but uh yeah i like this and they I like they did resident evil with that font um and they have the r and the e kind of a different color i do that a lot on my channel i get that from the games that do it too but I noticed this font is not exactly the Resident Evil remake font, which it seemed like they were using earlier. But again, I don't know if those earlier images were official or not, so it's hard to say. So maybe they'll come up with their own font for Resident Evil for the movie universe, since it'll be a different you know, universe than the video games. But it's this one seems more uh, uh, connected in, in like a spiritual way to the video games than the previous ones we got. And Chad Rook is not, uh, you know, does not hide that fact either. He says this is for the fans. Like he he makes it known that this is a true Resident Evil movie in his eyes, and that and that's cool with me. I mean, I, the other movies, sure, they're Resident Evil, and there's a lot of fans of them, and a, it got a lot of people interested in the franchise of Resident Evil because they were just fun, big, dumb action movies. But for me, I cannot stand those movies. A lot of them, um, and I've been doing my commentary. So hopefully, you guys have been watching those episodes. Uh, we've done the first four movies and I have a retribution coming up probably in a couple weeks and then in May we'll do final chapter and then after that we'll do the three animated movies I'll do commentaries for those as well probably later this summer so um yeah so let me know what you guys think of all this this REBH fun that we're having in this episode and these the hashtag like if you say anything cool when you click on that hashtag have you seen anyone's artwork anything fun let me know down below I, I like I said it's my favorite hashtag to follow right now because it just connects me right to either some of the people working on the movie, the people's working on, you know, all the people working on the games, or right to fans and their awesome collections or fan art. And it's uh, it's great. Like, if you're a Resident Evil fan, you got to click on that hashtag. And if you want to use that hashtag a couple times a day, you can get some points if you link it to your ambassador program. So make sure you do that, too, if you're a hardcore fan like I am. So that's it for me in this episode. If I did a long one. I just wanted to cram all this into one episode because I haven't done an episode in a while. And I'll try to get some other videos out to you guys on this channel very, very soon. So thank you for your patience. I'll um, try to keep up. I just, it's bike week right now. I work at Harley Davidson and it's like been two weeks of kind of chaos. And we're going to be wrapping up that hopefully by, you know, this weekend. And next weekend, I'll be back to having a few days off in the middle of the week. And I can get back to my regular schedule of making videos. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.